Medium crown forty gold in England. Um, ignore it. I don't want you getting too powerful. I want you to cause a never place, have you? Have a never title. Not cut bear. I can't give him cut bear. Okay, I can't make him like me more. What is my uh my chancellor doing? Are you not? You might be trying to teach him that I'm a good guy. What are you doing? Ah. Uh, He's such military tech. Go to Jorvik. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing at all. I never place converted to Norse faith. God damn. Okay, there we go. Finally took him down. Off a piece. There you go. Oh. Thank you very much. And now you go sort out that place. Okay. Hardly lost any men, obviously. And you can go there, you can go there, and you can go there. Now, who do I want to hold this place? Have we got any counselors? No, he's a oh yeah, he's the eunuch, isn't he? That I got as a gift. Maybe yeah, I can give it to my son. What's it called? Is it Lisbo? Oh yeah, Lisbo. Yep, basically uh, ancient Lisbon, I guess. Okay. Um, where's Lisboa? Am I, uh, am I missing something? What the hell? Am I just going crazy? Lisboa. Okay, apparently there's no Lisboa. What are you? Prince Bagger of Britain? Is that your brother? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You're trying to kill your brother. Please end that plot. God. I just think I was about to give you something as a gift. How dare you. Okay. Well, I need to give someone that place. I'm going to look at my court. Let's have a look. Um, Harrick? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can give it to Harrick. He's a good diplomacy guy. Hmm. Could give it to you. Yeah, we'll give it to Harrick. We'll give it to Harrick. Okay, can we find it for you? And there it is. How come I couldn't give it to my son? Hmm. I'm not really sure why he took the name Havid. Okay, I like giving uh, places to lowborn people just because it's cool to see what names they get. It's quite nice. Okay, thank you very much. And what is this? Hold a great blot. Okay, we could hold a great blot. Might as well. 75 gold. Send out the invites. Uh, okay. Refuses to offer gold. Damn these Christian vassals. Let's convert them very soon. The guests have arrived and the time has come for the blot to begin. You gather outside the temple and start by offering animals as sacrifices to the gods. While their meat is prepared for the feast, that is to follow. The blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, Freya, and the other gods, as well as the on the worshippers themselves. Now for the human sacrifices. Everyone's favourite part. Ah, so it, I guess it doesn't change when you reform the faith then. We don't have a new, uh, new source that happens. I was looking forward to seeing everything was different. Okay, Gilan and Numa has been brought up from your dungeon. Okay, is he the, uh, I'm assuming he's probably a peace. No, he's an Irish Catholic. He's probably a count. Yeah, he probably was. Well, uh, where is your blessed virgin now? She can't help you now. Her virginity has not helped you at all, to be honest. In fact, it's probably just killed you. See ya. And uh, we've got now a bishop. Uh, we'll offer you. Bye-bye. And we'll offer you. Ah. Who are you? Oh, you're the guy's wife. Ah, oh, I feel really bad now. We just, we just took his land. I'm about to sacrifice his wife, but... I can't look like an idiot, so I'm sorry. Bye. Plus, it's good for me because it increases my piety. And as a, as head of the religion, it's very good, obviously. Bye-bye. With the sacrifice over, the feast at the end of the blot can now begin. The meat of the animals that were sacrificed has been already pre prepared. And there's plenty of meat to go around. Let the celebrations begin. Yeah. 
Morsels of food and clean pick bones fly everywhere from the direction of Jean Eskild as he greedily stuffs himself with the delicacies served at the table. And then he is sick in someone's lap. Well, that's nice. Well, good for you. That could have been me. Not gonna like him much. Okay. Has, has anyone actually had mead? I've never drank mead. I'm not even really sure what mead is. I know obviously it's alcohol, but I'm not actually sure what... Is it just a type of beer? I actually don't know. I have to check that out. I think it's something to do with honey. If I remember correctly, I remember hearing somewhere mead is something to do with honey. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, you are enjoying the feast when a shrill scream from the other end of the room suddenly draws your attention. Start naked, Ellen is running around on the table, waving her arms while screaming that she is on fire. You groan and bury your face in your hands. Wow. Okay, she's a she's a slight lunatic. And she's a family member, are you kidding me? She's ugly lunatic. God damn. She's good at intrigue though. That is probably the worst thing. <laughs> you have someone who's a lunatic and good at intrigue. And she married one of our family men. Why would you do that to her? Twice? Twice? Are your kids inbred? Okay, luckily he wasn't. And he isn't either. Wow, you got really lucky. She got really lucky. What a bloody lunatic. She knows how to pie. The feast is over, and with it the blood. It will be at least nine years until you hold the next one. But as your vassals return home, most seem to agree that the ceremony was well worth the trip. Until next time. Oh, never, never disease. Okay. Oh, my son is now legal age. Prince Bagger of Britannia. Wow, he's a great diplomat. Not really good at anything else. He's patient, kind, deceitful, greedy, and content. Oh, hopefully content will be quite good then. Because obviously he's going to be the lesser brother. Who can we marry you to then? Oh, dangerous faction. 91%. Even you? But we're such good friends. 98% 98 you've got for me. How? Ah, damn her. Damn her to hell. Send gift. Won't work. Uh, you can be standard bearer? Will that make you like me? Not enough. Damn it, that's a that's an annoying faction. I mean, elective succession isn't that bad, but it's slightly annoying. I just rather than not rebel. Can't you please love me? I'm your uncle. They've almost got hundred percent. If they can get hundred percent, there would definitely be a danger. Huh? I just held a block for you guys. You are meant to love me. Love me. Okay, what am I going to do with you guys? What sort of guy am I? What would I be thinking? Craven, content, chaste, gregarious, and wrath. Hmm. Damn. He's not the sneaky type, really. Or the, or the tyrant type, really. Wrath is, you know, you get angry at someone after something. Not before. Can't really say it. I could declare war on the Pope, but I want to... Uh, they'll probably declare, they'll probably declare rebellion. I probably need to deal with that before I declare war on the Pope. Okay. Gowie has converted faith. Great. Oh, France is having a bit of a problem there. They seem to be, uh... They've lost some places to the Kingdom of Germany. Ah, thank you. You've actually made a friends with him. And it's still minus one... Oh, no, it happened then. Yes, we're becoming more friends. Keep up the good work. But please, can you make it go a bit faster? So much conversion. Jaldum of Brandenburg. Okay. Good for you. Oh. Ah, okay. I'm afraid the faction I represent must insist on elective monarchy. We are fully prepared to take up arms should you refuse. And rest assured, we have enough men to enforce our just demand. Damn. That could create a massive war. Where are you anyway? Hewis. Okay. So just there. 
What am I going to do? They have got quite a bit of power. 46,000 men. Very, very... A lot of people. They would definitely be a problem. I could just give in. We can have a succession, elect um, a succession monarchy. Um, which wouldn't be too bad, because most of my family are the most powerful people. Apart from the Sweden Norway woman. She would be a problem. She would definitely be a problem in the future. Ha. Huh. So what do I do? I guess my guy is Roth. So, uh... Yeah, my guy's Roth. He'll be angry. He'll be like, How dare you! I'm gonna... Yeah, we, we, we can't give in to their demands. I will not be blackmailed. I will not be blackmailed. We will destroy you guys. Take you. And this time there'll be no mercy. There'll be no mercy for you guys this time. There we go. I better turn this down. <laughs> British Civil War. The British Civil War of 19... Oh, not 19, sorry. 995. Obviously, as we all remember. God damn, this is not going to be good. Oh. Dear. <laughs> I have seen that would happen. We are going to be screwed. The only chance I really have is taking the leader. I have to capture him. It's my only hope. Jesus, okay. I'm in trouble. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I knew it was going to be hard, but still. I thought I'd have some more men than that. I really did. I thought I'd have more men. Okay, we're calling my allies then. Vassal and inheritance warning. Okay, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter because we're at war. Talk can be usurped. Can't do it because he's at war. Call him in. Is your, okay, we can press your local claim, doesn't really matter. Yep, nothing else to really do. I can call mercenaries, obviously. We have a lot of money for mercenaries, so it might be a good idea. How many mercenaries can I get? 3,000. Okay, that is all. <laughs> these are all the bad, these are all the damn mercenaries left. There's a holy order, but they will not help us. Those nine fires on Vikings would have been great. Okay, after at the end of the Civil War, um, if I lose or if I win, we will attack Rome. I promise you, that will be what we'll do. But obviously, the Alchemist War, yeah, you know, either way, it's going to be like we'll either have elective succession or we won't, and I'll capture those who try to put me down and we'll kill them. Though so, you know, it's, either way, it's going to be everyone's going to hate me or something. Uh, Okay, it's going to be a problem. Let's just call those uh, mercenaries. Might as well. Oh! They are vassals of Byzantine Empire, so I can't call them. Great! So, what was even the point? What's the even point of them being here? What's wrong with you guys? Why can't I have you? Shit. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in slight trouble. My men are everywhere, Jesus. <laughs> no, this is, this is bad. This is very bad. I may just have to give in. You head there. You head there. Actually, wait, you head there. You stay there. And, uh... Everyone else go towards him. Now, what to do in Northern England? Oh. Okay, you guys all head to Jorvik. You can as well. Then you guys will be my main fighting force. You'll head straight to Gloucester. And try and take him down. You guys get together. You might be able to hold them off. You get together. You guys can go up here to Jorvik. Oh dear. Okay, you guys are going to have a bit of a problem. Head there. You head there as well. And you head there as well. Hopefully because their armies are split up as well. You can try and create a defense against their men with us now. A lot of their men are obviously over in Sweden and Norway up here. So hopefully we can keep it together in England and take out their leader. 
you guys together. Damn. Got that as well. And we have uh, Zealand. You can go up there as well. Okay. Oh, and down here. I completely forgot about down here. Okay, wow, okay. Our army there is screwed. They are in trouble. And we've got you as well. Okay, let's call some uh, fleet. Let's call my little fleet. Get them together. Go and pick them up. And actually, they could head down to Iberia and pick up the others as well down there. Hopefully. Hopefully they can get there in time. And once these guys have got together, they'll pick them up as well. This is going to be a... This is going to be a big civil war. Indeedy. I'm going to keep the uh, speed low for this. God damn, look at that. This is going to be chaos. <laughs> this is absolute chaos. I've got so much to look after now. Damn it, okay, that group's screwed. Unless these guys go save them. Save them! Save them all! Yes, okay, yeah. Uh, apparently they're going to come help me. Not sure if they're going to be able to help much, but... You know, might as well let them in. If they can get here, that'd be great. 2,000 men. Okay, 2,000 men right here. You guys can probably head straight to there to help out taking it. How many men's got defending? Okay, not many men. If we can get a lot of men there. Ooh. It looks like they're heading off anyway. Jorvik. Okay, yeah, you guys actually just stay here then. Okay, you're heading up there, you're heading up there. You guys, you guys are screwed. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help you. We can't save everyone. We can't save everyone. Ah, oh, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Wait, do we have the men in Iceland? Do we have any men in Iceland? Nope, of course not. They're obviously owned by Norway. Damn. Damn. Okay. When are you going to get there? 24th. Okay, so we can move you guys to 24th. We won a battle. We lost a battle. Oh, okay, they're screwed now. We could go and save them. 2,000 men. Hmm. It's not worth it. We just need to take that capital. It's only 100 men. <laughs> it's not really worth going to go save, going to save them, is it? You head to Somerset, so you can go help take England as well. Did you just lose your battle, I'm assuming? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, you can stay there, then. Actually, wait, no. 30th. You act like you're heading off, and then we'll move you. 